Hi friends, uh, today we are going to discuss about web service transformation. One of the su subscriber was looking uh, to explain about this web service transformation uh, some time ago. So today I took a topic of uh, this transformation to give you a brief. Um, uh, <clears throat> so basically the, this transformation helps to make a web service request uh, and, and, and to map the web service response to a target basically uh, what are the response means like the response uh, type can be soap or a uh, restful api <clears throat> that response the request will come through the client and, and the response can be a get method post method put method or delete method but today our use case we are going to deal with the get response from the restful api what i would define so basically <coughs> through this web service client request as I mentioned, it helps to um, access and transform or deliver the data to the target set, as I mentioned before. So uh, I'm not going to get into so much of detail about what is web service, everything. So this is enough, I believe. And getting into the actual topic. So these are the following steps we need to do it. So starting from that, first, uh, very first step. So we need to uh, ensure that the RESTful API end, endpoint URL is there. So that is the actual uh, mm, uh, 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 um, web service client request as, uh, as we mentioned in the beginning it's going to get the response that with the get method for example uh, uh, if you want to explain it so this is this is the, uh, this is the oracle ORDS so oracle uh, restful data services uh, which I took an example I defined I enabled with the HR schema and I've created a, a module and this is uh, this is the employee <laughs> folder in which uh, this is a restful service uh, firing the query in the background and giving the um, JSON response so this is this is what the client request rest API we are going to call it uh, part of our subsequent definition let me go back this is the first step as I explained uh, to you uh, the endpoint URL what we got it the local response and the very next step is through the administrator services uh, in the uh, <coughs> informatica side we have to we are going to define a connection to add the rest uh, v2 trial in my case i've already defined it if i go back to administrator uh, just a second So in my case, uh, I've already added a connection. So if you want to add a connection, you can find it. Uh, go to administrator and click on add on connection and type rest v2. Okay. So see here, I've already added uh, rest v2 connection connector <coughs> uh, to uh, uh, make use of web service operation of op application support using rest api okay so with that uh, being said uh, uh, the next very step is once it is done so we cannot straight away jump into connection adding before to that step we have to define a swagger file uh, that is the step we supposed to follow if i go back uh, to my documentation see here create a swagger file so whatever uh, uh, whatever uh, the 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 endpoint which i mentioned in the very first beginning of the first point we have to define it in the swagger file <coughs> okay so for that reason see i have already defined the swagger file i will give an idea so what is uh, inside it uh, and how i defined it so for example so this is how it look like so i have given the name of the uh, swagger <coughs> file and what is the environment it is running so basically my uh, uh, the secure agent where it is running and finally the endpoint url uh, uh, with only the domain host information only we supposed to give okay and what type of method we are going to do it uh, and there is no authentication in this particular restful api uh, so i mentioned as authentication type as none in different options as well is there uh, uh, for uh, for uh, <coughs> for security reason it, um, so i'm not going to get into that as well so so then the api base path so this is the api base path so ORDS HR rest v3 is the is API based path and this is the final API path that employee is the API path okay in my case so once it is defined 
and and the accept uh, uh, category you have to select the application json and uh, if everything is looks okay and the swagger file will be saved successfully uh, so, sorry this operation id you can define it here and content type so uh, before getting into swagger file if you really want to test it you can go to any postman service and test it for example you can go to postman <coughs> you can you can define it i'm not getting into that you can test uh, you can give this local host and uh, uh, check check the api information whether it's executing properly everything and and double check that <clears throat> with that uh, that is a part of uh, uh, the api testing uh, side okay so once that is done you can jump into swagger files and define all the things and uh, one uh, if all these properties uh, uh, considered correctly by swagger it will allow you to save it successfully then once it is saved we will you can download this okay you can download this file basically <coughs> you can download this json file so, okay it's like a json file for example i have already downloaded see uh, i kept it under the folder okay so this is my uh, employees.json file already downloaded okay under the fold folder home oracle info ff okay uh, under the secure agent where it is running in, uh, my secure agent is running in virtual box okay <clears throat> now coming back uh, once this part is done the next part is uh, you need to now this this is the right time to define a new connection using the rest v2 uh, connection type okay so when we do so, so we have to ensure that the swagger json file whatever we downloaded in the step two we have to attach with okay let me go back to the administrator service and if i if i, I uh, go to connection i need to select a connection and uh, I, in my case i already defined um, the <coughs> the connection using rest uh, uh, v2 connection type okay so let me edit and show what are the things i had done see here so i define the name and uh, define the description and selected a connection type and local host is the run, uh, runtime environment authentication uh, ensure that it's been selected with uh, standard and authentic <coughs> authentication type make sure that uh, it is in, in our cases because uh, as I mentioned before, you can different level of sec based on your security, um, you can mention it, but uh, there is no security uh, in our uh, testing purposes. Uh, uh, <clears throat> there is no credential or uh, ensure that uh, to enter into API for. Uh, so we are mentioning as none. Okay, then the uh, the <coughs> restore the option. You no need to bother about straight away. You can paste. Uh, the uh, full absolute path with the json file whatever we download uh, with the swagger side uh, and that's it um, key store password uh, everything in, you no need to worry uh, ensure that proxy type is selected no, no proxy and you can test the connection here when you do the uh, test connection you will see the test connection is successful i'm not going to save it so once this is done we are good with the this step okay the third step also completed in administrator <laughs> administrator side then the most interesting part is we need to get into data integration service here uh, in informatica okay and you need to define a business service now so if if you go back again you see you need to create and configure business service using well, the restful uh, v2 connection whatever we created uh, in the administrative service set okay so um, if i go back um, for defining the business service you need to click new uh, components business service you see here the configure configure operation in a business service and then business service can be mapped with the web service transformation this is how we can uh, 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 web service transformation can be called or you cannot straight away call it so this business services through which uh, the restful uh, uh, restful connection type will be attached with so in uh, in turn the business service uh, will be uh, whatever you defined will be called inside to the web service and the corresponding operation will be selected okay so for example i'm going to simply show here create okay 
and select the connection type which I have already defined it it will pop up here so once it is done you, <coughs> you can select view uh, sorry <coughs> you can um, select new and what is the operation what is the authentication and give the name everything if you want to define it you can define it otherwise what you can do simply select select operation and uh, see as I told this is the operation employees the operation as, as we already define it in the resv2 connection type so select the operation once it is defined <clears throat> selected you will see the uh, the selection operation window you just simply click ok and and once this has been done so click configure here here in this configure uh, you will see this request response and fault uh, section so for your understandings how how it will look like so so basically the response uh, 200 and what all the information it will uh, uh, give you a response and headers footers and in case of any exception uh, what is the exception xml will come error code message everything and in the request actually this is the actual client request uh, uh, passed on through the web response and in our cases only the port is the one in only information coming as the input so otherwise the response you will be getting the header and uh, foot, uh, <coughs> uh, uh, enter and response employee response you will be getting the cookies information everything okay so that's it once this is done you can save it but in my case already I have saved it so I'm not going to do it again <coughs> so so um, up to this part we are clear now the the final uh, uh, final part is we are going to define an actual mapping now okay Defend a mapping here. So, uh, as I told, the the <coughs> request uh, it will consist of the port. So, for that reason, I've created a dummy file. Okay, the dummy file consists of simply the port uh, as the column name, header, and uh, the data as eighty eighty the value. Okay, I'm going to call that file. Okay. <clears throat> CSV and select the, <clears throat> the dummy.txt now. So you can simply preview the data is appearing correctly. Yeah, the port is the column. Uh, and the value is 8080 this is a dummy value information just to link with the web service the now the next part is we have to bring the web service here web service we have to call the uh, go to web service property and select the business service what we had created okay so i have already created a emp business service and so once this has been selected as I mentioned you need to select the operation so um, once this has been done you have to map uh, from the source uh, the dummy file with the port information is there right that simply you uh, map it with the <coughs> web service uh, actual request into the root site what we saw okay then the uh, the rest all things like you can simply select it map all the descendants you can see here okay for the item section you see all the column and what is the response is going to get it okay in our case as, a, as we mentioned all this employee information will be getting this is the actual item information you see that okay so that is the most important key thing and this is the this is how the uh, field will be uh, we saw that right uh, what is the exception section root section okay and the linking section in the item section you will be seeing the actual data as a response from the, uh, the rest api okay then we are good to map with the target now so when we do so simply select the items information alone that is enough for us for our cases because we are going to get that item information to the target to create it so here in the target again it will be a csv file as an output okay and uh, 
select and create a file at the runtime so hr employee info.csv and if you want select so text qualifier none that's it this is done so since i'm creating the file at a runtime i i no need to do oh, field mapping anything because in the um, whatever the fields you are seeing here right it will be reflected in the target site that's it so now the mapping almost is good uh, so we can try to save the mapping here okay so the mapping is clear so now if you go back to the ta this folder <coughs> <clears throat> target folder where it's supposed to create the file you will not see the file uh, see here so we do not have the hr file uh, what we defined it let us try to run the mapping and ensure that it's it's uh, the the web request is uh, from the client is running correct successfully and the web service with the business service operation <coughs> uh, uh, getting the response and uh, uh, delivering the data to the target let us try to understand okay so basically if you go back to the hr employees we should see this count of one or seven records into the HR file. Okay. I think the job is completed successfully now as I mentioned so the source side uh, the dummy file read with the one record uh, the port information and web service in between the transformation uh, got the response from the client request with the rest api whatever it defined it and finally the it uh, tra uh, <coughs> transform and deliver the data to the target with the one of seven records what we saw from the hr okay this is the actual thing and see as i mentioned this is the actual api <coughs> what is api okay so if you go back to the uh, uh, os level and we can see the file got created see so the file got created okay now we can see hr underscore employee see 107 records including header it will be 108 records so so that that's it friend this is about web service transformation if you have any queries please let me know thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel